Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom, and welcome to the highlights of round 2 of Mad Madness. There were some great moments and some huge upsets. It was a pretty good round overall, but it can only get better from here. Tell me in the comment section below. Which game surprised you the most? Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see what happens next week in round 3. Pause the video to take a closer look at the bracket as it stood before the start of round 2, if you really need to. But the show must go on. Thanks for watching, and without further ado, here are the highlights of round two. Enjoy. First up, Panthers and Bucks. First score comes a minute and a half into the second when Winston scrambles and bounces off a defender. 7 0, Bucks. Second score comes with 19 seconds left in the half as Falk hits this chip shot field goal. Bucks go up by 10. Bucks strike again with his walk-in scramble by Winston. Bucks take a 17-point lead with one minute left in the third. With under three minutes to play, Martin slips into the end zone for a touchdown. That'll pretty much put a wrap on this one. And Bucks run out the clock and win 24-0 in a real shocker. Next up, we got the Vikings and Bears. First score comes with the first play of the second from this field goal. Just kidding. Vikings block the field goal and take it to the house for six. Vikings take a lead, 7-0. Vikings double up with this handoff to McKinnon, who ends up running for a 42-yard touchdown. Vikings go up 14-0. And the Vikings aren't done. They tack on a field goal to score 17 points unanswered in the second. Vikings will keep that lead going into halftime. They'll score in the third, but Vikings strike in the fourth with this field goal by Forbath to make it 20 to, 20 to zip. Vikings complete the shutout, winning 20-0. Game 3, Steelers and Browns. First score comes with this chip shot field goal by Boswell. Steelers lead 3-zip. However, right at the two minute warning, the Browns answer back and tie the game at three. Steelers get the next best shot at a touchdown, but they get stopped short, and so they settle for the field goal. Steelers take a 6-3 lead with under five to play. The Browns, only down three, make the Steelers pay for settling as they score their own touchdown on this run up the gut. They take the lead 10-6 with about three minutes left. However, Steelers quickly drive down the field and get into goal-to-go territory. Before the first snap, though, it's a false start, moving them back to the 14. First and goal from the 14 now, Bell is stuffed after a one-yard gain. Second and goal, Ben takes it himself down to the two. Third and goal, Steelers try and throw and nearly throw a pick. Before fourth and goal, another false start. So ball is placed back at the seven. And fourth and goal, Ben throws for the game, and Ridley has it for a second, but ultimately drops it. Steelers are able to get a Hail Mary off with seven seconds left. But it falls incomplete, and the Browns upset the division, winning it for the first time since 1989. Texans and Titans, Game 4. Texans are able to strike first with this short field goal to take the lead, 3-zip, with just under 2 to play in the first half. Same quarter, Texans find themselves in the same situation as in their last game. Goal to go with no timeouts left late in the first half. Two games in a row they go for it, and two games in a row they run out of time and get nothing. Texans still lead 3-zip at the half. Texans get the ball to start the second half where Yates throws an interception. That's taken to the house. Titans take the lead 7-3. Next score is by Mariota. 
as he scrambles here and he reaches the end zone right at the two minute warning 14-0 Texans 14-3 Texans Texans down 11 execute this play action pass for Yates with full timeouts finds Miller Braxton Miller who's able to get into the end zone to answer the prayer 79 yards down five Texans have to go for two and Lamar Miller gets it if the Texans had just settled for the field goal the game would be tied right now however down three Texans go for the onside kick Titans recover it they're able to seal it with this run to the right and so the Titans with almost no passing yards for a second game in a row win the division 14 to 11 Game 6, Bills and Jets. Jets get the first score by this run up the gut by Powell. Jets lead 7-zip with under 5 to play in the first half. Jets get back within striking distance. Three minutes later where Powell gets his second touchdown of Mad Madness. Jets lead 14-zip. The Bills finally strike back with this short field goal by Hauschka, making it a 14-3 Bills deficit at the end of the third however the Bills can't stop the Jets who get their third touchdown of the game it's two yards for Robbie Anderson Jets win and continue on 21 to 3 all right second to last it's Raiders and Chiefs with two minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half Smith scrambles up the field and takes a hit and fumbles. Morrow picks it up and gives the Raiders the lead off of the scoop and score. Raiders lead 7-zip. Raiders strike again with this run up the gut, nothing fancy. Raiders lead 14-0 with two and a half left in the third. Chiefs, being shut out so far, get on the board with 30 seconds left. Smith slips a tackle and delivers this crazy pass that scores. So with 30 seconds left, it's 14 to 7 Raiders. With only two timeouts, Chiefs go for the onside kick and the Raiders recover. Oakland's able to kneel it out and the Raiders will win the division. They move on winning 14 to 7. Cowboys and Redskins. Redskins strike first near the final third of the first quarter with this field goal from long range. Redskins lead 3-zip. Cowboys respond with who else? Ezekiel Elliott. He powers through for this one play touchdown. 80 yards. Cowboys take the lead 7-3. They strike again with this field goal by Dan Bailey who nails it to make it a seven point game near halftime. Cowboys score a third time in a row with this chip shot to make it a two score game, 13 to three. The game stagnates and so Cowboys win the division and move on. They win 13 to three. And so for the final game of round two, it's the 49ers and Seahawks. Seattle opens up the scoring with this field goal by Blair Walsh to make it three zip Seahawks. With a minute left and a half left in the second quarter, Seattle hits another field goal to take a six-point lead. 49ers get a chance to respond where Garoppolo has a pass tipped and intercepted. Wilson takes advantage and hits Baldwin on the slant to make it a 13-point game. Seattle has a chance to make it 16-zip, but Walsh misses the long kick, keeping it a 13-point game at halftime. Early in the second half, Niners get a chance to respond, but the kick is short and wide left. Score remains 13-zip. Then, with under six and a half minutes left, Wilson finds Baldwin again, this time for a 51-yard touchdown. Baldwin killed them in this game. 
trying to make it a three touchdown game. Seattle goes for two. Wilson elects to take it himself, but he decides to slide too early and so the conversion attempt fails. Still, Hawks are up 19 zip where the score stays until the end. Seattle wins the NFC West and moves on to the third round. Alright, there you have it. There were some huge upsets, like who saw the Browns or Tampa Bay coming? Let me know what you thought the biggest surprise was in the comments below. Subscribe to keep up to date. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Rate the video if you haven't already. And have a good one.